Seven days doctor strike has been called off, albeit they threatened, they threatened to take the streets if remuneration commission fails to honor the 2012 collective bargaining agreement. The National Land Commission comments the actual review of 22 companies in Lamu whose titles were recalled. And Deputy President William Ruto has asked governors to be accountable for the money they controlled during the first year of devolution. Hello and welcome to GBS Morning News on this 24th day of the month of September. My name is Florence Ndongo. The 11 days doctor strike has been called off by the Kenya Medical Practitioners, Pharmacists and Dentists Union. According to the union that uh, was after the national government through the Ministry of Health vowed to pay doctors who are currently training at uh, in referral hospitals commonly referred to as uh, registrars. And as Henry Minor reports, the union has threatened to go on strike again should the Salaries and Remuneration Commission fail to implement their 2012 collective bargaining agreement that expires in the next three months, Henry Minor reports. And the National Land Commission has commenced the actual review of 22 companies in Lamu whose titles were recalled. Their hearing will be conducted for three days and the determination made on Friday. The titles for 500,000 acres of land were recalled soon after a massacre in Mpeketoni that the government blamed on local politics. County is currently facing an equal distribution of teachers in both informal and formal settlement areas. A review done by the Concern Worldwide reviewed that 31 public uh, primary schools from the informal settlements are having 40,581 pupils against 652 teachers comp as compared to the same numbers in public schools in the formal settlements areas which have 25,894 pupils against 635 teachers. The Kenya National Union of Teachers, NAT, and the Teacher Service Commission, TSC, now recommend the uh, government to adopt an affirmative action policy for recruitment of teachers to, be, to redress the existing imbalance in schools within urban settlements. And Deputy President William Ruto has asked governors to be accountable for the monies uh, they controlled during the first year of devolution. The Deputy President remarks comes a day after the controller of budget uh, released a report that showed that most counties spent substantial budgetary allocation on vehicles in the first year of devolution. He was speaking during the first sub-national borrowing conference where he said that plans were underway to ensure that the county governments borrow money from the national government government in a more acceptable model. The President Uhuru Kenyatta asked uh, the developed world to take the lead in controlling climate change, even as he called on developing countries to increase voluntary efforts to manage the environment. The President said climate change was a common threat to the world and Kenya was vulnerable to the diverse weather effects associated with the phenomenon. And the hydroponic green fodder technology took the country by storm as farmers embraced the technology that allowed them to produce animal feed in just six days, which is nearly a quarter of the normal time they used to produce feed. If well utilized, the system will allow farmers in the country become twice as productive, ensuring food sustainability. However, lack of proper information by farmers can also cost them a lot. Our reporter Josephine Wawera shares some useful information that if keenly adhered to could increase farmers yield and avoid losses when applying the hydroponic technology. Thanks, Josephine Wawira, for that report. And a group that was formed one year ago comprising of women who are left by their spouses after giving birth to children with mental disability breathed a sigh of relief after they received equipment worth 2 million shillings from the county government of Narok. Indeed, that's a timely gift. And thank you so much uh, for watching GBS Morning News. Keep it right here. Sports News is up next.
and welcome to GBS Sports News. Nairobi Swimming Association NASA will initiate exhibition championship for water polo, synchronized swimming and diving this season with FINA standards and regulations on the horizon for elite and budding swimmers. Electronic registration for competitors is also in the offing after NASA abolished the manual registration system at the start of the season. Abaka Collins with the details. And since time, in memorial, the football governing body in the country has always cited FIFA at the glimpse of government and public intervention to save the sport in the country. This has made the federation untouchable as many fear that the country will be banned by the world football governing body. The executive has set the 29th of this month as the date that they will replace the banned officials, including a suspended vice chairman Sami Shule, in a special general meeting. The affected officials have have four days left to stop the AGM with the matter already at the National Olympic Committee and also at the court. All right. Well, that's where we call it uh, a morning, and that's where we end this morning news bulletin. My name is Florence Ndongo, and see you next week on Thursday.